Our human action to save the planet may be paying off with Earth's ozone layer on track to be restored within decades. A new United Nations report confirmed the hole in our planet's atmospheric layer is shrinking. The ozone layer protects Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation from sun rays, which damage DNA in living organisms. A hole was discovered in it in 1985 and it sparked concern once the severity of the situation became apparent. But scientists now say it's on track to completely recover by 2040 for most parts of the globe. The layer directly above the poles is expected to take a little longer by 2045 for the Arctic and 2066 for the Antarctic. The UN report said the recovery would have been impossible if not for the decisive action world leaders took to phase out ozone-depleting substances. Well, these include uh, chlorofluorocarbons, also known as CFCs, that were found in refrigerants. Scientists say with this issue considered solved, the world must now focus its efforts in the fight against global warming. Earlier, Benjamin Horton, director of the Earth Observatory of Singapore, told us how solutions towards repairing the ozone layer can be used to deal with other climate issues the world is now facing. The world came together listening to scientific advice through the United Nations with what is called the Montreal Protocol in 1987, where all governments came together and tried to phase out the harmful gas, the CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, that damage the ozone hole. There were a variety of policies, regulations within industry and businesses, and now we see the fruits of our labor that we're trying to solve this problem and that the ozone hole will be repaired in the middle of the 21st century. The, um, the solving of the ozone hole provides a framework which could be used to, to solve the problem of climate change. The solving of the ozone hole involved all developed and developing nations having common policies and regulations. And that's what needs to happen on carbon. We need to have carbon trading, carbon pricing. There needs to be incentives for renewable energy and more incentives to think of nature-based solutions or carbon capture and storage. It's only when governments work together with businesses, it's only when governments are led by science that we can try and solve one of the problems which is potentially an existential crisis to civilization in the 21st century.